Hi friends, this is an environmental science model question from the topic ecosystem. Now the question is like this, with reference to the ecosystems, consider the following statements and we have given three statements regarding ecosystem. First statement, a biological community interacting with the non-living environment and second statement, a set of organisms and abiotic components connected by the exchange of matter and energy. Then third statement, an ecosystem can be visualized as a function unit of nature and they are asking that which of the statements given above is or are correct. So we need to identify which of these statements are correct regarding the concept ecosystem. So the fundamental principle of the ecosystem is that at any place where there is a living organism, there will be a continuous interaction between the other organisms and their environment and that interaction is to produce and exchange the materials or we can say that in order to exchange the energy or else we can also say that in order to sustain their life. So the living organisms are interacting for their survival, for their energy needs, for their food needs. So the system in which living organisms interacting with their environment for their survival, for their energy needs is called as ecosystem. So we said that ecosystem is the interaction between living organisms and their environment. So living organisms we can call it as biotic components and the environment we can call it as abiotic component that means non-living component. So the interaction of living organism to the non-living components of the environment is called as ecosystem. So the ecosystem can be defined as the biotic community and its physical environment or non-living component of the environment in which the matter cycles and energy transfers or the energy flows is called as ecosystem. So the biotic community and its environment in which the matter cycles and the energy flows is called as ecosystem. So that is one definition of ecosystem. So whatever the definition is, we can see there is an interaction, there is a term called interaction or there will be a connection, connecting link between this living organism and their environment. So there is a connection between this living organism and the non-living components of the environment. So that you have to note down. So we said that these organisms are interacting with each other. Okay. Besides that, we can also say that this organism is having, this living organism is having a functional relationship with their environment. That means, for example, the living organism, uh, for example, the plants, plants are the producers. So, they are producing the food for the other components of the ecosystem, right. So, they are absorbing nutrients from the soil and also they are absorbing carbon dioxide for, from the atmosphere. So because of that we can say that the plants are helping for the nutrient cycling. Okay, so the nutrients are cycling through these plants. Okay, so it is having a function for the nutrient cycling. As well as it is also providing the plants are also providing food for the other components of the environment. That means for the other components of the ecosystem like the hedgehogs or the like rabbit, deer, elephant like that. Okay, so the producers have these kinds of functions. So every living organism in this environment will be having a functional relationship with their environment. Now coming to the functional relation of tigers. They are controlling, they are the apex predators, tigers. So they are controlling the population of other herbivores like the deer or rabbit like that. So that is functional relation of tiger to the environment. Okay. So like that every living organism will be having a functional relationship with their environment. Now regarding the birds. They will be dispersing the seeds. Okay, so like that, all living organisms will be having their own functional relationship. Okay, so we can say that living community in an ecosystem or living community in a region will be having its own function. So we can say that the entire region is having a function, right? So earlier we said that ecosystem is a community of living organisms and their environment. So that entire region will be having a function. So we can say that ecosystem itself is having a function okay so we can say that ecosystem is having a functional role in their nature because every component in that ecosystem is having its own functions so we can say that ecosystem is also considered as a func uh, functional unit of nature so since we are saying about functions we can also have another definition for ecosystem the structural and functional system of communities of living organisms and their environment is called as ecosystem. The structural and functional system of communities of living organisms and their environment is called as ecosystem. 
so we have said that structural and functional system so function we discussed now regarding the structure so we know that environment is having producers like the plants then we are having consumers those who are consuming the food from the plant or uh, producers okay within that consumers we are having herbivores carnivores and omnivores right so like that this ecosystem the components of ecosystem is having a definite structure okay so so the herbivores like the rabbit they will eat the producers right then the carnivores like the tigers tigers will eat deer or rabbit but deer won't eat the tigers so there is a definite structure in the environment in the nature or in the ecosystem right so that's why we can also say this ecosystem as the structural and functional system of communities of living organism and their environment is called as ecosystem so wherever we are saying about living organism and their environment okay so there is a connection between living organism there and their environment now coming to the question again with reference to the ecosystems consider the following statements and first statement a biological community interacting with the non living environment so we said that living organism interacting with their environment so biological community means living organisms community means for example uh, will be having group of species other if you are considering a region will be having rabbits there will be having a population of tiger will be having population of uh, green plants right so together all this population of the species is called as community right so the whole species within that region is called as community so a biological community that means living organism present in that area interacting with the non living environment is called as ecosystem so the first statement is correct now we eliminated b now second statement set of organisms and abiotic components connected by the exchange of matter and energy so set of organism that means living organisms and abiotic components abiotic components means non living component or the environment okay connected means the interaction by the exchange of matter and energy so the interaction of living organs organisms to their environment is for their matter and energy for their survival so that's why second statement is also correct so the interaction is for their sustenance for their survival that means for their matter and energy for their food so that's why second statement is also correct okay so in first statement we are having the term interact and second statement we are having the word connected now the third statement an ecosystem can be visualized as a functional unit of nature so that also we discussed every single organism is having its own functional relationship with the environment thereby the entire ecosystem can be also seen as a functional unit of nature so third statement is also correct okay so our answer for this question is d 1 2 and 3